the Great Rift Valley is beautiful, but no peace, no sharing of this beauty. Supported by the Ages Trust, which has shown how peace can be built in Rwanda. We are going to break the cycles of violence. They have decided to use their sweat for us to achieve peace. All leadership, all county governments, the national government should support this process. The Pokots and the Tukanis come together and all of them talk about peace. This is the first time I have seen it. As the athletes walked along this epic journey, people from the local community engaged, took part. They came out from schools and walked with them. Even warriors along the route discussed about how they might give up their firearms and what else would they do with their lives if they no longer were taking part in raiding and killing. But the work must continue. For us, this is not the end, but the beginning. Work with us so that we can attain the lasting peace. For the peace of the North Rift is the peace of Kenya. Hi guys, a massive well done on what you've achieved in Kenya. Not only have you done such a great job uh, for inspiring a nation, you've also inspired me and Adam here. We're going to run 3,000 kilometers in 25 days, roughly 75 miles a day. Uh, we have 75,000 feet of climbing in total. Throughout the challenge, one of us will be running with the torch, whilst the other will be on the bike. So if one of us is struggling a little bit, we can switch. We're carrying this torch not only as individuals, but it's about uniting people. That's the key thing for us. And we want everyone to come out. We want people, we want you to get out there, to come with us, to run with us, to walk with us, to invite us to your schools. Our Kenyan brothers have already done their leg. It's about time that the UK do their leg and then pass it on to the Americans to then go around the world. And if we can do that together, we are going to create something life-changing to many, many thousands, if not millions of people.